anyone remember the good old days when you could make an ass of yourself in public and it wouldn't end up on social media? Well, times have changed. We now live in the age of camera phones. And as soon as one fat ginger bitch opens her mouth to express her disgust at a straight couple's sign of affection for each other, well, you can almost hear the views piling up. Let's have a look. Then leave. Why are you oh, here? You have your Excuse food. Excuse me, I have a right to be here. This is a place where you eat, not where you make out just... and food. Here we have the fat bitch in her natural habitat, a fast food shop. She's taken exception to a mating pair, probably through jealousy because, well, look at her. So, he just told you we food. are waiting for you to finish up, so You're we're chatting. Go make out outside. You're a heinous person. You're a prostitute. The fat bitch roars at the female and her mate. She does not appreciate any public displays of affection on her territory. Whoa. I'm not getting paid. How can you get out <laughs> while here in front of everyone, like a slut, while we're trying to eat? There are people here. The fat bitch looks to the rest of the pack for support, but finds none as the female doesn't rise to the insult. Okay. Do you have any manners? Can you just... Finish up your transaction. We'll order and we can Why both don't move you on. Leave, bitch? Oh my god. You're, You're really escalating Why this. Don't you leave? The fat bitch marks her territory afresh, making it clear that any mating rituals in this space should be done by her and her alone. The female bears her fangs at the idea and challenges her authority. I would just like to order well, you and then we'll leave. You shouldn't be here. You're a slut. Go get a hotel room and fuck somewhere else. Oh my this god. This is not a place for this. I can't wait till this hits YouTube. I can't wait to report you to the police. You cannot be doing prostitution go ahead. in public. Hey, go, go. The fat bitch makes a bigger deal of the situation than is needed, now pushing the prostitute insult further and implying it's not an insult, but a fact, and threatens to involve the police. Find the police right now. This is a public place. This is where people No, it's not. Leave. This is a private place, actually. This is public. No, this is a private establishment, actually. This is a... We're in the public. This, this is privately owned. Can we, can we You're making board? me uncomfortable with your verbal Stop out in front of us. That's a the fat bitch, realizing she was wrong to call the establishment a public space, falls back to repeating herself that she won't be reminded of her error. Her authority has now been challenged and she will react accordingly. Who is us? Everyone that's uh, here. That's inappropriate. You're the only person who's uncomfortable with me having my arm Lady, and my you're making out while we're trying to order. The fat bitch now approaches the challengers, raising the potential for physical confrontation, to which the male of the mating couple will respond by protecting his companion while maintaining an air of grace. Step back. Excuse me? Step the Why fuck don't... back. Excuse do not Step tell me. Step the fuck back. Excuse Step me? Step the fuck back. Excuse me? The fat bitch, now shaken by the actions of being told to step the fuck back, repeatedly exclaims in defense. If she does step back, the authority will be passed over to the mating couple and the dynamic of the pack will change. If she stands her ground, only a physical challenge will decide which of the two will be the alpha. Why don't you step Can you call the, the cops? fuck back? Can you call the cops? Can you call the cops on him? I'm getting all this on, on video. So we'll see who's who's harassing who later. We are now treated to a rare close-up of the fat bitch in full defensive mode. Notice the wide jaw for consuming flesh without the need to chew. An evolutionary trait that, without it, may have resulted in the fat bitch's extinction. You're fucking your girlfriend in a public restaurant acting like a prostitute. The fat bitch now raises the bar from making out to fornication, showing a real disdain that may suggest she actually believes what she is saying. This is the main defense of the fat bitch, to lie to herself with the effect of convincing herself. You need to leave. You told me to leave while I'm in my order while you're making out with that slut. Okay. The male now changes tact and begins to agree with the fat bitch, and we can see her trying to work out how to respond. Okay? Yeah. You're such an airhead. You're so dumb. You're sexually harassing me. The fat bitch pulls out her main attack, the accusation of sexual harassment, most famously witnessed in the 2016 Battle of Humongous. You and that slut. Well, you are harboring a lot of shit, and you're just letting it all out. So you know ahead, what? Go ahead. This is cathartic I don't for you. want to watch you make out with that person while I'm trying to order Good. food. Good. There's the door right there. Go ahead. 
But the male has an attack of his own. In a majestic display of logic, he offers a solution to her problem that is both sound in reasoning and offers the chance for he and his companion to take on the mantle of Alpha. Yep. The fat bitch, sensing she may not walk away from this challenge emotionally unscathed, steps back to form a new plan of attack, and inspiration strikes. I want my money back. <laughs> I want my money back. I want a refund. Excuse me, I just spent $20. I want a refund. Now she wants a refund. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to a manager. And I'm appreciating you raising your voice at me. I want a refund right now, and I'm reporting you to your manager. Angered by losing to the mating couple, the fat bitch now attacks a member of the pack to assert her authority, but it seems his loyalty has already changed. He's already talking to his manager. And I want to talk to the manager. So I'll, you talk to me. I'll give you the tape. I'll give you the tape. I so can call the manager and report you. You can be fired for allowing this. I want my money back. The male challenger defends the pack member against the fat bitch's attack and states that he will defend him further through the wonder of camera technology, cementing the newfound kinship. Go to hell, prick! Who the fuck do you think you are? Sexually harassing me, making out with that bitch while I'm trying to order? Now we see the final push from the fat bitch, scrambling at any chance to walk away with dignity intact, not realizing the whole pack has now turned. He was having sex with her at the stand when I was trying to order, they were making out. It was pretty good. The sex was pretty good. <laughs> the male now taunts the fat bitch, soliciting a titter from some of the braver members of the pack. She doesn't realize it, but the fight has long been over. Well, go get a room if you want to fuck the whore. I mean, I don't want to watch it. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. You making out with that ugly bitch? It is so nasty. Now visibly on the back foot, the fat bitch switches between accusations of fornication and simply making out. But an animal is at its most dangerous when wounded. Do you know how much I want to puke on both of you? You are the ugliest bitch I've ever seen. You look like a little boy. For me to actually watch you have sex in public is disgusting. Disgusting. The fat bitch offers a parting shot before attempting to leave the battle with the illusion of having fought a good fight. In front of my food, it makes me want to Seemingly not satisfied with the aforementioned illusion, the fat bitch takes out her frustrations on the weakest of the pack, a chair. I could have gone because you were so damn nasty to make out while I'm ordering food. It's so disgusting. Okay, I'm sorry that you have an You're a prostitute! With the ground between them extended, the fat bitch finds a new wave of confidence and throws the female's apology back at her. You're a terribly rude person. Oh, oh my god, god. you're rude for making out in front of everyone, trying to slobber. You're, you're trying to over-sexualize yourself and be like, I'm a shit, look, my boyfriend's making out with me. Do you know how uncomfortable and rude you are? <laughs> The exit now directly behind her, the fat bitch barks, knowing she has a clean getaway if needed. You are such a slut! You're a dumb bitch! Go fuck, fuck yourself! You are such a whore! You are such an asshole, both of you! The confidence rises further, the fat bitch on the cusp of the territory that is now changing hands. Both of your Bye. Bye. Goodbye? Bye now. Far from defeated, the fat bitch now takes offense at the word goodbye. A Hail Mary, even by nature's standards, but it could still work out for her. You're stalking me, do you know? I'm gonna press harass, sexual harassment and stalking charges on you. Go for it, please. You are harassing me at this very moment. Uh, the shirt. Yep. The male, assured of victory, continues to taunt the fat bitch by agreeing with her, a tactic that has proven to be effective for him previously. Overcoming his fear, a smaller male bids the fat bitch goodbye. Bye. Can you? Yeah, no. I'm American. I have Halloween. Oh, yes. The pack has now officially turned, groaning at the fat bitch's demands of being allowed to be an utter cunt on the grounds of her nationality. Uh, you know what? So. Go back to whatever. There it is. 
With a surge of confidence gained from being told to go back to his own country, the weaker male now approaches the fat bitch to physically remove her from the territory. <laughs> The fat bitch's defense of throwing some leaflets fails, but she is filled with a renewed sense of vigor at a perceived physical attack from a male. Yeah, just Go back! Go back, you retarded foreign asshole! Yo, he's more wanted here than you! Following calls of foreign asshole, another, equally foreign member of the pack takes charge as the newly crowned alphas taunt the fat bitch from afar. Leave! Leave! You leave! I didn't you leave! Excuse me, there is a man that was having, about to have sex with a woman here in the That's restaurant. Okay. Protecting his leaders, the male advises the Alphas to head to the back of the territory and allow him to deal with such trivial matters. In the final throes of defeat, the fat bitch calls the police with the same bullshit story she concocted at the very beginning of the challenge. Ah. Like, I literally, I kissed her like once on the forehead. Go. Yeah. Bye. Wait, where are you going? The police are coming. Now officially vanquished, the fat bitch is banished from the territory and is unlikely to ever return. Should the time arise, she will be turned away at the door under orders from the new leaders, the mating couple. Isn't nature wonderful? Now I don't know if you heard the guy near the end, but all of this arose from the guy kissing his girlfriend on the fucking forehead. Two minutes into the video, the big un was shouting about them making out, and 30 seconds after that, she said they were fucking on the counter. No doubt she'll go home with some fantastical story of how these two were giving it some anal while rolling around in ranch dressing, and she put a stop to it as everyone in the shop applauded, but she won't be going back there because someone sexually harassed her and no one did anything about it. In short, she's gonna chat shit until she believes it. Thanks for watching guys! Please consider becoming a patron because the reduction in revenue from YouTube means I have to work my day job a lot more which gives me a lot less time to make content. The link is in the description and remember, if you're gonna make an ass of yourself, do it in private.